Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are currently driving up the M6 on the toll road because we're bougie like that. And we had the overnight boat um, to Portsmouth last night from Jersey. And we have a week of being in the UK with the Merc. The Merc has finally hit past 40 miles an hour legally. We're currently driving up to our first destination for the night, which is a hotel called... Why are you laughing at me? We're currently driving to our first destination, which is a hotel just above Birmingham called the Chase Golf is it Golf and Spa? Golf Country Golf Country Hotel um, so the reason we're breaking up our trip is actually tomorrow morning I've got an appointment to get my lips done in Wolverhampton I refuse to go to any other clinic so obviously as we were driving up north to see Jack's family we had to just stop over and get the lips done it's just a necessity and it Jack's lips done lips done it's just a necessity so we're not too far now we've been driving since about seven o'clock this morning it's now 10 to 11 we hit some horrible traffic so this afternoon though jack has planned a surprise i don't know what it is do you want to, do you want to tell me now you've already guessed it approaching toll booth oh okay we're doing a spa aren't we well, it's not a spa, no, because there isn't really a spa there. It, I've just booked you a full body massage. But actually, no offense. But you're going first, then I'm going second, because I've only got one masseuse. The other one's off ill. I've literally been complaining to weeks to Jack, like, my back is in so much agony. <laughs> and he's just booked us a spa. <laughs> Thanks, babe. No worries. I've got my wallet, but it's not a pocket. So we're just approaching the toll booth now, toll so we're literally booth, like... 900 yards. Yeah, okay. We're also using the sat-nav on the Mercedes for the first time ever, because obviously you don't need it in Jersey. So yeah, we're going to pay this, go to the <laughs> hotel, I'll show you guys what the hotel is, and obviously throughout... Caution, um, the... toll booth. Okay. In the card, read a slot below. Ready? <laughs> go! We're in the UK for a week. I was planning on just vlogging like the first 24 hours basically, which is basically obviously our overnight stay tonight. I don't really know what we've got planned tonight. I think we're just gonna sort of wing it. And then we've got a long drive up. You do know. Massage. Yeah. Massage. Yeah. Meal. Yeah, we've not booked anywhere for dinner, so we're gonna wing it. You literally picked it. Yeah, but I've not booked it. Of course. Like the ferry <laughs> and we had to change the days. Oh, honestly. Anyways, ferry was a whole palaver. Please leave the roundabout at the second exit. What roundabout? <laughs> that one. Oh. Right. So basically, I did drive for the first hour and a half, and Jack's driven for like basically the second hour and a half. It was like a three-hour drive. Um, tomorrow we have a long drive up to Darlington. We're going to go see Jack's sister and their newborn, which is really, really exciting. Um, so yeah, that's the drive tomorrow. Um, so I think we're going to do like a little Q&A as part of the vlog when we do that drive tomorrow. So keep watching if you guys want to see that. Um, but yeah, I'm keen to see this hotel. Jack did choose it to be fair. This is all Jack. Jack's done well. Jack's done very, very well. He's very, very good. Um, so yeah, when we get to the hotel, I will show you guys the hotel and yeah. Guys, look how pretty it is. What would you do if a golf ball just like smashed a window? I'd be, Go, I'd cry. Stop, be aware of golf balls from the left. <laughs> I would- that golf ball. I would actually cry. Just as you've had it valeted to go and smash a I window. I literally spent 150 quid on a valet, guys. So, so we got to the hotel and like we are Starbucks. so early for check-in and our massage because obviously we wanted to make sure there was plenty of time. In case of any delays, so we have come to a designer outlet nearby. What's it called? Mick Arthur Glenn, Glenn Designer Outlet. Oh, this lighting's not okay. Oh, I'll turn then. There you go. Anything for your lighting, darling. So we've come to this design outlet and as we drove in, there's an Under Armour shop and Jack loves under armour so we're gonna have a little shop around here for an hour or so we're gonna try not to spend any money though we're just in a window shop <laughs> <laughs> there's lighting what is this parking? oh this is a disabled spot these are all disabled spots <laughs> oh my goodness Jack's just driving over all the spaces. <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna go shop around. We're gonna try not to spend any money because the whole plan is we're gonna go shopping in Manchester. I really wanna go to Trafford Centre. So we're gonna go to Trafford Centre. 
And um, can you not swear? You can't talk. It's the concentration. I am not <laughs> crashing this car. Oops. No, you're not. Anyway, so we're going to try not to spend any money because I'm trying to save a little bit of shopping money that I do have for Trafford Centre. You use those cameras. I like to get as close as possible. Also, there is a Five Guys here. <laughs> Don't shop it. We'll try also avoid the Five Guys. Oh, speak yourself. I will be in Five Guys and Under Armour. We're not even hungry. We just said we're not hungry. If I go missing... That is where you'll find me. Five guys and Under Armour. Do you reckon I need sunglasses? Do you reckon I can wear sunglasses like that? Yeah, but because we're in a designer outlet, I'm taking my designer ones. I look more designer with them on, don't I? So I have like, in my sunglass case up here, I always have my River Island ones. But because we're in a designer outfit outlet, we're definitely taking the Tom Ford. <laughs> <laughs> I literally look like a tramp. I mean, oh, anyways. Bye. <laughs> Jack's failed at the window shopping and already bought his hat. It's just a hat. It's just a hat. It's just a hat. Kayla's going to look at a handbag. <laughs> I've already looked at a handbag. No, it wasn't 100 nog quid. It was like 80. 13 pounds. <laughs> so first ever five guys. Look in the bag. Just look at it. Yeah, just look in the bag. Tissues. No, but look in the bag. <laughs> Chips galore. Well, yeah. You've only got me one bit of salt. <laughs> Your nuggets or something. If no. it was a surprise, I thought it was going to be cheeky little chicken nugget. This will be the, one of the messiest burgers you eat. Do you want to see a video of me whilst I'm wearing wine? Yeah, he's got a double bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> So guys, literally, he lived in Blackpool for half of his life and he's never had a five, guys. They didn't have it then. I live in... <laughs> Good? Good, yeah. Delish. Guys. I did some damage! His fault! His fault! <laughs> he, just, he just let me go back into the shop and... We have a handbag. We are going back to the hotel now, Good ready. Job. What? It's an ugly handbag as well, isn't it? You love it. We are going to go back to the hotel. I keep looking up there, you're going to tell me off. We're going back to the hotel now to get our massages and then hopefully after that we'll be able to oh, check please. in. Arm um, please come in for you. Look how rosy cheeked I am, just from walking around a few Don't shops. Don't make you blush. Don't make you blush, is that what it is? Okay, bye. <laughs> So we have just got back from our massages and oh my god, they were literally insane. This is our little room. So we have the beds. <laughs> this is the bathroom. This is well nice. Oh my god. So yeah, this is our little room for the night. I did ask her not to get oil in my hair, but there is a little bit of oil in my hair. So we're going to try to sort this out. What's the plan then, Stan? I feel like we're just going to freshen up and just play over here. Yeah. You can go yeah. and see what... You've got food in the corner of your mouth. Have I? <laughs> what have you been eating? I don't know. Where's mine? I don't know how well you can see this, but this is like the view from our room. Super, super nice. So yeah, I'm going to freshen up now. Try to get this oil out of my hair because I really don't want to wash it yet. And maybe put some makeup on and actually make myself look alive. That'd be quite nice. First things first, so I'm gonna wash off all of this oil. And yeah, there's quite a few restaurants nearby, so I think we'll just pick and choose one. I'm not very hungry though. Peace out. Okay, I don't know how good this lighting is, but this is the outfit of the night. So I've got my PLT cargoes, PLT corset. Oh, I don't know how good this is. I've got my car Vela shoulder bag. I've got these old little block heels from New Look, and we've gone for like a soft curl, and of course my normal makeup look. Jack is dressed, but he's just in bed. So we're gonna go take some pictures and find somewhere to eat, and just have a little. Mac. <laughs> you okay there, yeah? yeah. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie, but we've totally failed at vlogging, and I'm also blaming Jack for this because you could remind me of these things. So literally, last time I vlogged, we ended up going back to that designer outlet, took some photos, which I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see on my Instagram soon. And then we came to what's it called? You this, picked it. This building behind Jack. It's uh, called, it's like Podge and Ah uh, Podge and Tinnery. Podge and Tin. Podge and Tin. Podge and Tin. And we just had like burger and steak it's and an stuff. English pub. I feel like it was like an average meal. An English pub. It was an English pub. <laughs> it was it average. Was right. Yeah, it was average. Pub 
pub grub. Yeah. But we're just spoiled for choice in Jersey, so we're used to like Jersey standard. <laughs> You've just seen the face you just pulled. Anyways, I'm now driving because Jack's had a couple of drinks. So wish me luck because I hate driving in these towns and all these roundabouts. But um, yeah, I probably won't vlog now till tomorrow. I should be getting my lips done in the morning and just waiting for time confirmation from them. Oh, I don't know. Um, no, I'm gonna look like Donald Duck, but I think it's gonna be an early appointment now, so we're probably just gonna go back, watch a movie, and I will keep you guys updated tomorrow. Bye. Do the same thing. Fuck off. <laughs> so, it's eight o'clock in the morning, we were on our way to my appointment. Might be a few minutes late now because as we were I'm driving, um, Jack's watch ping saying he left his phone behind. Who leaves their phone? My phone is glued to my hip. Hand, actually. So we're going back to the hotel to get his phone. <laughs> Luckily, we'd only been driving for about two, three minutes. Um, and then we'll set off again. So, love that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited this morning. I'm a little bit concerned because it's been like a year and a half since I had filler and I've got like these two like when I say tiny I mean tiny little bumps but otherwise I cannot feel any other filler and the last time I went to this clinic last year and I got the lip flip he did feel them um so I'm hoping he's not going to say we can't do filler unless we dissolve them but either way I need to get it checked out and hopefully we'll be getting some filler today if not we'll it still was worth a visit and hopefully we can at least get the lip flip as well i'm sorry if this is bumpy all over the place but then straight after that we'll be heading straight up to darlington um so yeah so we're gonna go back and hopefully we can get it quite easily okay so i'm not gonna lie it's been a bit we've had the filler we've driven an hour and a half and we've just swapped because i drove for the first half but these are the finished well, kind of the finished result. We did have a lip flip that takes it about a week to activate. So we are about an hour, just under an hour and a half away from Darlington now. Um, and literally as soon as we swap, so I've been driving the whole way, as soon as we swap, Jack's now got all the traffic. You've had no traffic the whole way. I and know. now I'm stuck in an average speed check <laughs> with traffic doing 30 mile an hour. It's like we're back in Jersey. Anyways, so for anyone who's wondering, I went to number one aesthetics in Wolverhampton for my lips. I went there last year as well, but I just had the lip flip last year. Um, the guy who does it, Alan, is really, really good and makes me feel really at ease. He's a doctor and yeah, I had a few um, lumps from my previous filler that I had in Jersey and he got them out so like quickly and effortlessly, um, which I didn't think he'd be able to do without dissolving the lips. So... Yeah, so definitely recommend if you're in that area or ever in that area. They're definitely stinging a bit now. They have bruised slightly. They bruised the last time I got filler as well. I'm just prone to bruising. I bruise all the freaking time. You literally just have to tap me on the leg and I bruise. Um, I think you not because I don't want people actually bruise. I have got questions written down that people have like asked me, but also just like generic questions. Okay. You know? All right, so we're going to do like a little Q&A. Um, I keep meaning to film a Q&A and I just never get around to doing it so I'm going to answer some questions that people have asked me and then we're just going to also ask, like, um, ask, ask, answer? I don't know. So I'm going to be answering some questions I've been asked over the past few question box I've been putting on my Instagram story and also just answering some generic questions about me and Jack whilst we finish our drive. I feel like we should just talk about like our plan and like what's happening in summer and go for it yeah okay so for those of you who have followed me and jack's journey obviously i've not put like loads on social media with this relationship which it's been quite nice to have a relationship that's not heavily involved in social media but we met how do you ask it was it September. So it's September, so that's what September, October, November, December, January, because we're in March. We met eight months ago, but we've been official about six months. Um, and it was quite apparent that when we met, we both wanted very similar things. Your trousers to be fixed. Don't diss the trousers, okay? He's talking about our weekend trousers, insert picture. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but no, they were great. Um, <laughs> 
definitely wearing them to Isle of Wight. We're actually going to the Isle of Wight festival as well. So they're definitely coming back out for them. <laughs> but the plan with me and Jack, so me and Jack want to do some traveling. Um, we're planning on doing a massive road trip through America and also we want to do Australia and New Zealand as well. We obviously want to do loads of other trips but we want to do these trips before we get a mortgage and buy a house. So that is going to be happening a little bit next year and the year after um, and we're no backpackers. <laughs> like we 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 do not want to do backpacking, so it's obviously not going to be cheap. Australia, New Zealand, and America are probably three of the most expensive countries you could go traveling in, and we're doing them. So we have a lot of money to save in the next sort of eighteen months to help with the saving. Jack's actually going to be moving in with me and my mum in July, which is really exciting. Nervous. Why are you nervous? Because we're too high maintenance on it. <laughs> I'm not high maintenance. It was your idea, really, to move it. No, in. your mum offered it. My mum offered it and your then... Your mum offered it I and... Didn't say much. It was one of them like, it is a good opportunity to get a load of money behind us. Yeah. Because we're both of our wages. Will be absolutely fine. Basically, Jack currently actually rents an apartment off his mum, but even then, the price he's paying like is four digits. So you know, you can easily be saving that a month because um, my mum would not charge him much rent between us or between us. She doesn't want much, so it's a great opportunity for him to save that money each month. Prepare obviously, to keep right. obviously between my job and social media, I can save a fair amount. I can't save as much as Jack just because. I'm a female, I have things to pay for, and <laughs> I don't earn quite as much, but between us, we should be able to save like a strong, strong five figure saving. I'm bald, so I don't need to uh, worry about hairdressers. Yeah, literally, you're so lucky. Oh, so, yeah, that's luck. <laughs> and then it'll be the saving for a house deposit. So, that is kind of me and Jack's like next three, four year plan. Um, so yeah, obviously make sure you subscribe, follow if you want to like keep up to date with our journey. Of, now keep um, and continue to follow N62 towards yes, home. Um, if anyone wants to know where we are right now, we are in Hull Leeds. Hull Leeds? We're not in Hull Leeds. Well, no. we're just outside. We're on the M62. Middleton. Whatever. That's where we're going up to Middleton. This is a really thin lane. It is a really thin lane, isn't it? Alright, this is like Jersey style. Um, we're going for it. No, we're not. Oh, no, we're not. Fucking hell, you should see the gap between him and this lorry. Jack, you actually wouldn't have fit. <laughs> like, if you guys want to see how thin this lane is, like, this is thin, and he was going to go up size that lorry. No. Like, no, Jack. Jack! Yeah, I'm going. Fuck it. Oh my god, oh my god, he's actually doing it. Anyways. Radar sensors dirty, so you know owner's manual. Yeah, it basically means that your automatic stops off the work now. Oh, wonderful. The car is officially dirty, guys. We made it so far, just over half a tank of fuel, <laughs> and it's dirty. <laughs> Someone actually asked me about my live streaming. So, um, I used to do live streaming for an app called Bego. Bego. Left, one, two, one, towards the north. So I used to do live streaming for an app called Bego, but the thing is with that live streaming on that app is you had to hit targets in order to be paid. So I would do like 30 hours of live streaming a month and then some months I wouldn't hit target and like that whole month would have just gone to waste because you had to do 30 hours a month. So it got to the point very draining and I ended up just giving it up. It was a great salary each month but honestly the time wasn't worth it especially if you did all those hours and you weren't guaranteed an income so i gave up live streaming however live streaming i feel like is becoming very very popular it's a great second source of income um and i was scouted again for another live streaming app um which i'm not gonna say the name of it just because i don't want you all like going on it but i am live streaming for another app now and this app's different as i get paid per hour and it's very generous so i'm getting paid hourly i only do about five hours a week 
so it's less hours but it's great extra income obviously to help towards my direct savings and just general life so yeah live streaming is great i feel like you definitely do your research um if you're like influencing there's a high possibility that you'll get scouted to do it but you don't have to be an influencer to do live streaming like you could be anyone and if you want to make some extra cash yeah i just recommend you do your research and read the contract read the contracts yeah definitely made that mistake once what do i say that you find weird like what northern things do I come out with that you find weird being a southerner? You said a word the other day and I like never heard it in my whole entire life and I was like, what are you on about? And you're like, it's a northern thing and I'm like, well, hun, I'm from Jersey. <laughs> First of all, you never hunt me. Especially about like me and Jack, like, like why we get on and we're very similar. You're more annoying. Are you actually taking a piss right now? You are more annoying. No, you're the joker. Oh, that's on video now. <laughs> so you're saying I'm the funny one, yeah? You you're bring the looks and the I'm the funny one. one. Yeah. So the being, funny one. No, the annoying The one. funny one. No. In perspective of life, we want similar things. In general, we're very similar. We're very chilled out people, but we don't like being boring. I don't know, we just work out. <laughs> Like, it's just effortless for I you. do not work out. <laughs> I do no. not do that. I ride my bike and I go to football. I do not work out. I said I was going to join the gym and yet to join the gym. Yeah, because we're We saving. are now April. Yeah, okay, because we are trying to save, but... We don't need your membership. Like, we do, we do a lot of walks together. Jack does cycle. I do pole dancing. Like, do you not need a gym membership unless I was really into the gym, which I'm not anymore. Like, there's just no point stressing out about that. So, I feel like this video is probably starting to drag out a bit now. So, it's kind of been like a drive up north vlog. Like, yeah. we've been in the car like practically the whole vlog. Yeah. I'm gonna end the video here. We are almost there. We're, we're gonna be there within the hour. And then we have a drive across to Lake District tonight. Tonight we're staying at the Lake District in Jack's dad's lodge. Um, and then we're uh, flying. <laughs> then tomorrow we're flying. Oh my gosh! <laughs> tomorrow we are driving down to Manchester. Are you sure? You're not sure we're not flying? <laughs> we're driving down to Manchester. We're going to Trafford Centre and also meeting Jack's auntie. And then we're driving up to Blackpool tomorrow evening and we'll be in Blackpool. Preston for the remainder of the trip before we drive back down to pool on Sunday, same pool Sunday night, and then back on the Monday morning boat. So that is our trip. The car is doing me very, very proud, very proud of it. It's never reached 70 miles an hour legally before, and it's uh, cruising very, it's cruising very, very nicely. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this really random video and Jack's just kind of sat in the background for like the majority of it, but it's okay. No one likes an open accent really, do they? I do. Do you? Yeah. That's good. Glad to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, my lips are starting to hurt now from talking so much. So, oh, the fill has been moving. Make sure you are following me on social media. I'll catch you all very soon with a new video. Bye.